Hello again, Grant Pierce from End Results Fitness in Torrance, California, working on some basic kickboxing defenses. Um, with me here is Ellis McGee, he is a training partner of mine, a very experienced martial artist. And we're going to be going over some defenses to the head this time. Now, basic kickboxing defenses, I'll demonstrate in a south pop or in an orthodox position, are basic covers. The first basic cover we're going to work on is a cover to the head against a hook. Now, notice before, if you watched the previous tapes, I talk about the heel-toe sway. Okay, the same thing is true for your defensive tactics. When you cover against a hook to the side of the head, you want to sway forward, lift the hand, and guard the side of the head. Some people will actually take the hand and place it back behind the neck, protect the back of the neck. I like to go about here and I like to compress everything and roll with the shot a little bit. So from here, rolling forward, roll, cover, back, roll, cover, back, roll, cover, back. The second defense is a shot straight to the head or a cross. Same concept, I roll back, I lift the hand and cover. Roll back, lift the hand and cover. Now, what I'm doing isn't completely accurate because what I'm doing is cutting myself off so I can't see what's in front of me. So you only want to roll enough and cover enough so you can still see your partner. You never want to completely blind yourself with your cover. So roll back, cover, roll back, cover, roll back, cover. Okay. Once you have those basic mechanics done, we're going to begin putting them into drill work. Okay, so Ellis will come out here, switch sides here. Now, I'm going to assume a southpaw position because this is my most comfortable position. I can communicate the information more readily here. What Ellis is going to do is he's going to throw a hook at my head. I'm going to roll forward, I'm going to cover against the shot. From here, he's going to retract, I'm going to immediately follow up with a hook, across, and another hook. One more time, cover, hook, cross, hook, and then once it's speed. Okay, that in itself is good enough for one round, just doing that back and forth for about three minutes. Now what we do is we add the kicks. Okay, so the hook comes again, I cover, hook, cross, hook, rear leg kick, boom. One time at speed, cover, Kick. Okay, the next one, lead leg kick. Cover, hook, cross, hook, switch kick. And one time at speed. Good. Okay, the next combination is here. Instead of using a hook cross hook combination, I'm going to switch to the uppercut. Ellis throws the hook, I cover, from here I uppercut. I cross, and I hook, and rear leg kick. If you want to just do the boxing, that's fine. I'm adding the kicks in, just so, you can save, just so you can save time a little bit. So one more time. Cover, uppercut, cross, hook, rear leg kick. Okay, one time at speed. And then the same thing on the other side. We cover, uppercut, cross, hook, switch kick, cover, uppercut, cross, hook, switch kick, and then one time at speed. Good. The next series of combinations involves covering the cross. We're going to switch sides here. Actually, back the other way. Okay, when Ellis goes across at me, I'm going to shift my weight back. I'm going to cover here. Again, I don't want to cut myself off completely so I can't see him. I want to be about here. Or if I do, I want to be able to look through the pyramid for the space created between my forearm and my bicep. I don't like going that deep. As the cross comes, I cover, cross, hook, cross. The boxing combination. All right? One more time, at speed. Okay, now we add the kicks. Cross comes, cover, cross, hook, cross, switch kick. Cover, cross, hook, cross, switch kick, and one time at speed. Then, 
finish with the lead leg kick. Cover, cross, hook, cross, kick. Cover, cross, hook, cross, kick. And then we finish at speed. Good. Last combination. Ellis gives me the cross. I cover, uppercut, hook, cross, switch kick. Cover, uppercut with the rear hand, hook, cross, switch kick. One time at speed. And then the last one, you cover, rear uppercut, hook, cross with the step, kick. One more time. Cover, an uppercut, hook, cross with a step, kick, and then one time at speed. Good. Thanks, Ellis. Okay, so just to finish up by saying these are some basic covering techniques, follow ups. There's lots of combinations, lots of variations out there, and lots of counter attack you can do off your follow or off your covers. Basic cover again, cover the hook, cover the cross, cover the hook, cover the cross, and follow up. Next tape we do, we'll be covering lower body combinations and covering. Uh, Grant Pierce, Ellis McGee, and Results Fitness, Torrance, California. Thanks for watching.